In this video, I'll show you how to quickly make great looking social media contact sheets to show off your recent headshot projects. I'm Mike Price. I'm a business portrait and architectural photographer based in Central Ohio. You've seen other people posting these cool looking contact sheets in their social media feeds. These contact sheets are great for creating a buzz, showing off your creativity, and how many subjects you're capable of photographing at once. You could also include these contact sheets and proposals. Potential clients get a visual feel for your expertise and you stand out from your competition. As cool as these are, doing these by hand is time consuming. Photoshop has a built-in tool for creating contact sheets, but figuring out the settings can be a lot of trial and error to get the look you want. I've come up with an easy way to figure out the settings for Photoshop so you can create your own contact sheets with just a few clicks. Let me show you how. You're going to need Photoshop. You can use Bridge with Photoshop too. I'm going to walk you through using just Photoshop first, then I'll loop back and show you the process using Bridge. I'm a Windows user, but this works on a Mac just as well. First, gather up all the headshot image files you want to show in your contact sheet and copy them into their own folder. Launch Photoshop and go to the File menu, then Automation then Contact Sheet 2 menu choice. This is where you put in your settings. The first few are pretty self-explanatory. I use folders and choose the folder where I copied my headshots a minute ago. I don't use subfolders and I don't group images. Okay, so far. I use pixels as the units because I don't plan to print these contact sheets. I just want them to fill the screen for most of my uses. Now I get a little more complicated. It used to take me a lot of time to guess the right height, width, columns and row values for a given number of headshots. Add or remove a headshot image and I was starting all over again. Most times I just gave up and built the contact sheet by hand or didn't even do it. So instead of complaining, I've created a website that figures out all the settings for me. I also put a link in the comments. This calculator only needs three pieces of information. First, how many pixels wide do you want your contact sheet to be? The default is 2,000 pixels, but you could go up to 8,000 if you wanted a bigger version. Second, headshot proportion and orientation. If you shoot 3x2, 5x4, or square, this calculator will figure out the settings. And third, the number of images you want to display on the contact sheet. You need between 10 and 300 images for the calculator. The only assumption is that all the images in the contact sheet are the same proportion and orientation. Enter your values into the calculator and press the button. The website will display the settings you'll need for Photoshop. Now just enter those values into Photoshop's contact sheet utility and you'll be able to generate a great looking contact sheet every time. A couple of caveats. This doesn't work if you want to use the file name as caption option. Also, the Photoshop tool puts a one pixel gap between the images. There's no way to eliminate that gap unless you lay out the contact sheet by hand, but there are ways to make it less noticeable that I'll share in a minute. I'll remind you again, the calculator will only work with when all the images are the same proportion and orientation. You can mix sizes, but the proportion and orientation must be the same for all the files on a contact sheet. If you're a Bridge user, you can get the same results by taking a little different path when you start. Using Bridge, find the folder of images you want to use. You don't have to segregate these to their own folder using Bridge. Select some or all the images you want to use. Under Tools menu, click Photoshop, then Contact Sheet 2. Photoshop opens with the Contact Sheet 2 panel and pre-selects Bridge as the source. It even tells you how many files you've selected. Get the values from my website calculator and enter those into Photoshop. The results are the same as the Photoshop only method, so either way, you get the contact sheet you're looking for. There are several things you can do to punch up your contact sheets now. Add a color layer behind the headshot photo layers that matches your headshot image background. This makes the one pixel gap a lot less noticeable. You can also create a logo file of the company or event you're working with in the same proportion, orientation as your headshot files. You can even add your own company logo. Drop those extra files into the same place as your headshots and rerun your calculations with the extra file count. Run the Photoshop contact sheet utility again to include the logos. If you name the logo file something like ZZZ-Logo, it will naturally sort 
to be the last image in the contact sheet. Any project I shoot with more than 10 subjects gets run through this contact sheet process. I share them on social media like LinkedIn where potential clients can see them. I also keep a copy for use in future proposals or to remind the client to book me again for their next event. I hope you find this as useful as I have. Connect with me and let me know if this helps you share your work or get you more projects.